I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make a Halloween composition using foreground, middle ground, and background. I take three fingers from the top, in the center, put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a big curve line out, down, off the page, come back to the dot, Another big curved line down off the page. I come inside and I'm going to draw straight diagonal out, straight diagonal over, straight diagonal up, connect on the left, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal over, straight diagonal up, connect on the right, right in the middle. Straight diagonal down, straight diagonal over, straight diagonal up, connect. Starting on the left hand side, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line on the bottom. And now I come up and mimic it on top. Starting on the left, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line curve line, connect. Come on the inside and let's draw a straight line, straight line, straight line up, connect. And on the bottom, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come up on the left hand side and we're going to draw a curve line inside. Come on the right hand side, draw a curve line inside. Come back to the top. Draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line connect. Come over to the left. Curve line up, curve line over, curve line down, connect. Starting right here, I'm just going to add a curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, don't draw through your drawing. Curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, and if you can fit it, curve line, jump over, curve line. Okay. Now, this is the biggest thing. This is the foreground. But I can also draw another part of the foreground. So starting right about here, let's do three fingers on the right bottom and put a dot. From that dot, I'm going to draw straight diagonal up on the left, straight diagonal up on the right. Slightly curve line down off the page. Let's have this line extend. Bam, it crashes into my jack-o'-lantern. That's okay. Come down and continue the line off the page. Come on the right hand side. Continue this line off the page. Come inside on this and draw me a big curve line up. Mimic it. Big curve line up. Come on the opposite side big curve line up, big curve line up. Now, we're going to do some overlaps. We're going to draw some curve lines, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, curve line, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, curve line, curve line. Now you can fill this in any way you want. I'm going to put a spiral in a couple of these, put some curve line. No, I'm sorry, straight lines on those. Maybe put some little baby circles. Now I'm going to continue my line over and down. Okay, so this is your foreground, biggest up. Now I put a dot, and from that dot I draw a curve line. Straight line up, straight line down on the right. Straight line up, straight line down on the left. Come back and do a little curve line up. Straight line down, one, two, curve lines on the right. Straight line up, down, 
one, two, three, connect. Draw a little curved line, one triangle, two triangles, and just a little straight line, little straight line. Now I'm going to draw another one going up. So I draw a curved line, straight line up, straight line down on the right, straight line up, straight line down on the left, little curve line, little curve line, big curve line up, down, curve line one, two, big curve line up, down, one, two. Little straight line, little straight line, big curve line, triangle, triangle. Now, if you can fit one more in, I think I can down here, let's draw a curve line, straight line up, down, curve line on the right, straight line up, down, curve line on the left, come back to the right, curve line up, straight line, curve line, curve line, curve line, come on the left, curve line, straight line, curve line, curve line, connect. Little curve line, triangle, triangle, one, two, little straight lines. This is now the mid-ground. It's a little bit further back from your jack-o'-lantern and your candy bag. Now we're going to do the background. Come over here on the left and just draw a baby circle. On the inside, we're going to draw a curved line. Now we draw a wavy line out in, connect on the right, and a wavy line out in, connect on the left. Okay, I think that's all, and I'll show you one more thing about the background once we start coloring. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to start with my background. And what I want it to do is look like a starry, starry night. So I take my blue crayon and I go all the way around, up, down, up, down, up, down. And it looks like a little flower, but in reality, this is going to be my stars. And this will be the background. So I'm going to try and fit my little stars every place I have room so it truly does look like a background. Now you might go, well, I don't see how that works. Once I've got that section, then I come back in with my purple or my black or my indigo, and I go all the way around the little stars, all my figures, to make that solid background. Now, yes, it's going to take you a while. Yes, you have to be careful. Yes, you need to color darker than I am, but it is well worth taking the time to get this final effect. So now you've got your jack-o'-lantern in the foreground, your bats in the mid-ground, and then you have a starry, starry night with the moon in your background. Now I'm not doing this great, but I wanted to give you a general idea. Okay? Once you've done that, you're ready to color your pumpkin. Color all of this orange. Okay. Color your crown, your stem. This should all be green. Okay, I had to stop and get more crayons. I knew I'd run out of colors. And sure enough, how can you do a jack-o'-lantern without yellow? How can you do the moon without yellow? I'm even going to make my clouds yellow. You can't. You need yellow. Once you've done that, you got to have black. So this is all black on the insides. The inside of my mouth is black. Okay? Now, bats normally would be black, but I made mine gray. If you have gray. If you don't have gray, you can use your black crayon very lightly. And I made their teeth yellow, but if you don't have yellow, you can make them red. That would be different. Okay, now 
I have my bag of candy, so I'm going to do my handles. And mine is a paper bag, so I'm going to make it brown. And then you can really go to town with all the colored candy. This should be brown, too. Backgrounds. Okay? So what I usually do is I just get as many colors as I can and just start coloring. So maybe this can be this color. Maybe we can add this. Put in some green for pops, blue, any colors you want. Okay? This also might take a while. Take your time. So, foreground jack o' lantern with candy bag, mid ground, bats, background, starry, starry night, and the moon. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Halloween composition using foreground, midground, and background. This also was done horizontally, sideways, like a landscape. So there are many things you can do to liven up your compositions. Okay, bye-bye.